In uh, this video, I'll be focusing on creating the default symbology for my layers because uh, in ArcGIS Online, thinking that what we're going to do is that we're working towards doing uh, field mapping. And uh, it will be really nice that we, on our field mapping device, have some good clear symbologies that we can see what we, which data we have collected and what attributes are there. So, um, if um, you have your layer, and if you're not in this the detail view, so I'll just go content and bring my layers detail up. So we have my layers detail, and um, we've created some attributes here, and um, I now go into the visualization tab and decide how I want this layer to be visualized. You can see it zooms into my extent that I said before, and it just has one default red dot as I type my data. So for each data point I collect, it will have a red dot on my monitor. I here up here have a series of um, tools I can be using, and the one I'll be using is this one, the circle and the triangle and the square. So this change style. If I click this, it will say, okay, at the moment I can have just um, the change of a point without any attribute information. If I go here up here under point one, I can choose which attribute I want to um, control the symbology. In this case, I just say I want it to be paper. And um, I can have multiple attributes, but um, the other attribute must have to be a um, a numerical one because that can then change the size of my symbol. Um, I can't have more than one categorical value here. Down here under my drawing style, I can choose options. You, you can already see it has chosen red for no and blue for green. Um, here I would like to go in and, uh, and change the symbol here for my yes. So I'll change that to a green and maybe I also want um, if I'm working in sunlight it might be difficult to see difference on a red dot and a green dot so I might want to change the symbol also so in uh, find some symbol I want to use I guess I just uh, use a green star and I can change also the size if I want it to be a bit larger um, that depends on the size of the monitor you're using in your field collection. So you say OK. And finally, you can set the transparency. That is especially important if it's polygons. So if it, it, it might be covering your, your, if you're working with an aerial photograph as your background, um, you might want to set some transparency to order to see through the, the polygon. You typically will set transparency on points. Um, oh, you can see my dot is a bit small. I might should have probably chosen a larger size. Maybe let's change that back. You know, set that up to twelve points. So, uh, good. Um, and finally, you can say whether or not. To, should it be displayed at all layers or should it only be displayed as you zoom in? So which range should they be displayed on? And you can also decide whether or not you have a other. So in this case, I just have yes or no. If I had a uh, don't know or a um, none value, I could use that uh, set an other on it. And then it will indicate that in this case, I could use other to indicate that I've been at a point, but I couldn't decide whether or not there was a facility for reusing or recycling paper at that point. So other could be used to indicate that there was a, that there was not a yes or no, but something else. So that's basically our our settings for the visualization. We can set it as a new layer. So a matter of fact, we can have the same. Uh, data with multiple layers, but we'll just uh, keep it as it is here. Um, as a 
based on unique values from my attribute and say done and um, I can then go back to my overview and say change yeah I want to so, so I should have I should press the save layer of course I forgot to do that luckily it stopped me so my data is saved so now I have saved my layer so the interesting thing is that um, I can then work on from there but note that um, I have my feature in here and it now has an associated layer with it with the symbology.